I'm using this as my last safe haven essentially because uh, the bus stop is right over there and the forest is a very creepy place at night. Hi everyone, back again. Um, so I am here to welcome you to night two or the second part to Cavernary's Horror House. Um, if you've watched our previous video, which was uploaded last night, but whenever this is uploaded, I'm not sure if it will be last night, Jord basically made a horror game for me um, around our house, and it was super cool. Hi, hey, weed. Um, I won't give away too much, but I will leave a link in the comments. Check it out. Anyway. <laughs> So tonight is my night and I have came up with a little game for George and hopefully he will enjoy it. I'll give you a little bit of backstory. I've written some notes which I won't show you for too long because it will ruin the surprise. And the kind of story behind the game is that once a year on this very night, a candy demon wakes from her slumber and chooses one innocent victim to lure into her lair by giving them sweets and candies and clues to follow. Long story short, that person is George and this demon will be planting lots of snacks and clues to lead him on a trail to his demise. <laughs> um, I hope he figures it out. Uh, I won't really be around to help him. I will be elsewhere. So fingers crossed it's not crap and hopefully I scare him a little bit. Okay guys, so my game has actually started now. Uh, I haven't really been given any instructions other than uh, I've been given three minutes. A countdown has started and after that countdown um, I basically have to open a bag which is just behind me uh, and I have no idea where it's going to take me. So let's see what the hell Holly has planned for me. <laughs> so this is going to be the uh, bag which I need to open in about, let's see what that time says now. Uh, we've got just over a minute to go, and then we're going to open this. I like the way she's even included some Halloween decorations as well. Bless her. I have no idea what to expect, to be honest. I don't know how involved Holly is going to be. I don't know whether she's going to be jumping out around a corner. Um, well, I'm excited to play this game, to be honest. So uh, let's wait another 30 seconds, and then uh, let's see what happens next. Oh, God. Okay, all right. The three minutes are up, so let's go and open the bag and see what Holly has got in store for me then. Oh, what? There's, oh, there's a chocolate bar. Oh, it's a light-hearted game. I thought it was going to be really creepy, but nice. This is where I just rip the note and just destroy all the evidence straight away. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So let's begin. The time has counted down, and here your journey starts. Chocolate sweets and candies will appear along your path. <laughs> okay. Once a year on this very night, a note appears to someone. Listen close and listen well. All is fine and dandy. Follow the snacks and you may find a demon that lures you, <laughs> and lures you with candy. Okay. So basically, I got to follow the chocolates and uh, avoid the, the candy devil, the whatever. Uh, okay. That looks like a, a guitar, probably better than I could ever draw. I'll save that for later as well, I won't eat that. Uh, knowing my wife, she's probably uh, poisoned it. Um, right, okay, so... Here we go. I'm assuming this is what she meant. Nope, that's just some guitar strings. It's probably something completely different, but I'm assuming I have to open up this now. Uh, wherever the zips are. I bet Holly's just hiding inside, <laughs> just completely squeezed herself in. Okay. Nothing I can see so far. Okay, so there's nothing in the guitar, but yeah, okay. Uh, I think that looks like a Twix to me. Nice, okay. Jesus, man. Okay, next note. Eat up while you have the chance. This is too easy. Trick or treat, I can smell your feet. Mm. Here, there's something sweet to eat. 
Okay, looks like the bedroom, pretty straightforward. So far, this has actually turned out to be quite nice, man. I mean, I've got like basically a Twix and a Mars bar and I haven't even uh, had anything scary happen to me yet. So thanks. Thanks, Hull. <laughs> I have no idea if she's still in the house. I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> oh, God. Is she still in the house? Now, you see, the thing is, Holly is a trained scare actor. Um, and she scared me quite a lot of times before. And if you didn't know, then uh, basically we met through an attraction. Uh, and she scared the shit out of me. And it kind of blossomed from there. So hopefully she doesn't do the same thing tonight, but we'll see. Oh, look! Nice! This game is going really well. Okay. Right, the next note. Yum, yum, getting hot in here. Come quick. Oh, great. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> quick, she's going to burn something. She's going to burn something. <laughs> Has she got the oven on? Oh, thank God for that. Jesus. Oh my god, it's melted. <laughs> okay. Where did she get all these sweets from? I didn't realize she had this many sweets. Next note, guys. Fourth note. You've got me. Quick, come outside. Not scared of the dark, are you? Uh, nice. Looks like the shed. Let's go to the shed. Oh god, it's so dark outside. Okay, <laughs> use the front door, it said, so uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing I'm going outside. I'm going to put some shoes on just in case. Oh, God. I'm not sure how far she's planned this, but I guess I'm going outside. I don't know where the bus stop is. Oh my god, I actually got coordinates as well. Okay. Right. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Yep. That's my wife, all right. Okay, guys. So I've put the coordinates in. And basically, it's going to take me about 20 minutes away. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but it's by a bus stop, which I've only been to a few times. So let's see, uh, let's see where this goes. Okay, guys, so I am about 10, 15 minutes away now from uh, the pin that Hull gave me. I can't see anything. This is actually really bright. Uh, we're going to a bus stop, essentially. I have no idea what to expect. I'm actually quite surprised so far. Uh, it's been quite nice. Uh, no scares yet, but we'll see what happens when we go to the bus stop. I have no idea what to expect. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm about 10, 15 minutes away. Uh, actually not even that, about five minutes away from the mark that Hall's put me. I'm using this as my last safe haven essentially because uh, the bus stop is right over there. And the forest is a very creepy place at night. But I'm gonna now brave this dark now I'm going to start walking towards our bus stop because it is literally right over there. So there's been no scares yet. I'm quite pleasantly surprised, to be honest, but there you go. Let's see what happens when we get closer. If only you guys could see what is around me. 
there are literally towering trees either side of this road and unfortunately all you can really see is that tiny light there which actually marks the bus stop can't see much i'm on a tiny little pavement and that's it all i've got is the torch on this camera and nothing more i'm looking forward to seeing what holly's got planned Okay guys, so we are actually at the bus stop, which was on the note. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Let me take another look at that note. Turns out I got the wrong bus stop. Um, right, so there. Okay. Take a walk, take a seat. Tonight you're on the menu. Right, okay. Do I take a seat at the bus stop? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll take a look around. I'm going to keep the camera recording because I don't know what's going to come out. I'm going to take a look around uh, the bus stop. I'm not sure how weird this must look to a lot of people. To me, I've got cars driving past. And uh, I wonder what the fuck they're thinking. <clears throat> I'm just going to go around the side here. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I, w I wanna know how long you've been standing there. Jesus. God! Well, here it is. My, uh, my gift for beating the game. Woo! Lollipops! Nice! Woo! Well, that's the end of that game. Uh, it was a bit, um, it was a bit happier than the other ones, really. I mean, like, kind of, I was expecting it to be quite scary, but to be honest, that was actually quite happy. I got a shitload of sweets over it as well. It was scary standing behind the bus stop. Yeah, we need to point out the fact that Hull didn't have a phone or anything with her. Uh, I actually used hers, uh, and we only had the one on us uh, at the time. So basically, Hull stood there for quite a while, uh, waiting for me to show up, and, um, yeah, it was a nice uh, nice jump scare at the end, I guess. Uh, but as Halloween goes on, we're going to kind of be doing a lot more of these and we're going to make uh, make them a lot more scary, kind of uh, bring in other actors and uh, masks and costumes and things like that. Uh, but we're going to wait for October. This basically, this series is still in its infancy, but there's a lot we can do with it. If you liked it, then please do share, like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye for now.